Welcome. In this video, I will go over value and reference parameters in C++. So, the first thing we will go over is value parameters. And value parameters are when a function is called, the value of the actual parameter is copied into the formal parameter. So, this actual parameter or parameters that we are passing to the called function are being copied into the formal parameters. That means that when this connection is formed, there really isn't a connection between the two. Because if we edit this formal parameter, the actual parameters do not change because it's a copy. And these parameters look like the normal parameters that we have seen so far such as the absolute value function that we have gone over in previous videos where there's nothing extra attached to it. You just say what the data type of the parameter is and the name of the parameter is in the function header. And if you don't remember what that looks like, this is what it looks like right here. It is just when you have this function header, Again, this is the body of the function with the header right here. When we give this parameter a data type and a name, it's just the data type and the name. There's no ampersand attached to this name inside of here. And we will see what that ampersand C means in just a second. That ampersand means that it is a reference parameter if it had an ampersand there, which we will see in a second. And what that means is that you are passing the values by reference. And what does that mean? It means that instead of making a copy of the value from the actual parameters into the formal parameters, you are giving the memory location of the actual parameter and you are copying that memory location as the memory location of the corresponding formal parameter. And since this address is being passed, it is both this formal parameter and this actual parameter will be pointing at the same memory location. So inside of the function, when you change the formal parameter, the actual parameter outside of the function, inside of the calling function, will be changed, unlike value parameters where it does not change. So where would we use these type of parameters, these reference parameters? Well, we would use them when we want to return more than one value from a function. When the actual parameter needs to be changed, or when we're passing the address would save memory space and time relative to copying a large amount of data. And we will see this number three once we get to arrays. It really doesn't matter to us so much right now. But once we get to arrays, remember this number three. So pretty much when we want to return more than one value or like multiple data, data types from a function, then we're going to use these reference parameters or if an actual parameter needs to be changed when the uh, return value is being calculated. Or uh, in the case of such things like file IO, when you want to update the fi or file name or when you want to open a new file into a parameter. But that stuff we'll see later on. And again, these reference parameters are denoted with an ampersand in the formal parameter list. And what does that look like? Well, it looks just like this. Instead of just having the data type and what you are going to call that data inside of your function, 
well, you're going to add this ampersand, and this ampersand is going to tell the compiler to make this a reference variable. So whenever this A gets changed inside of this function, it will also get changed in the calling function, in the actual parameters. And here's an example of these value and reference parameters from a program. We have two functions here at the top. The first one is this value params function. It is going to change the value of these two parameters, A and B, and then output them to, to the terminal, saying, you know, A inside of this function is this value, and then B inside of this function is this value. And then the reference parameter function is also going to do the same, except for this time we are going to make our parameters reference parameters. And we're going to update those reference parameters inside of the function. And then similarly, like we did in the value parameters function, we're going to output the two values that we just changed. And then that will effectively change these two variables, these two parameters in the calling function in the actual parameters, which we can see down here, we're going to have this integer A, this integer B, and we're going to output what they contain. And then we're going to send them to the value parameters and it will go here, change the values, output them, and then come back here and we'll see if it is changed values out here or if it is still 10 and 25 and then we'll send those variables over to the reference parameters function which will change the variables in there to 109,999 and then output them and then hopefully it will either change those variables out here or it will keep them the same 10 and 25. And we will see what the outcome of that is right now when I open up a terminal and compile this program using G++ and the name of the program. And waiting for a second, and we will get a dot out, which we can run with dot slash a dot out. And you see here, we get the first two numbers output a and b before the function which is 10 and 25 which we do expect because a and b before the function they get set to 10 and 25 so we should expect a and b to output 10 and 25 it then passes that a and b to the value params function and goes in there and that is where we get if we come up here we have our 10 25 Inside the value params function, we get this output right here. So let's go up to the value params function where it changes the A and B to zero and one and outputs those values to the screen. So you see, we get the zero and one. It then, since it's a void, it doesn't need to return or anything. So once it hits the end of here, it breaks out of this function, comes back over here, and we come down to this uh output right here which outputs a and b which were not changed as you can see here we get 10 and 25 output to the screen 10 and 25 over here that is why they are output because they do not get changed here in the value params function because they are value params and not reference parameters but then when we pass those a and b to the reference parameters function and we come up here to the reference parameters function, you see it gets changed to 109,999 and gets both of those get output to the screen. We come down here, we see the output of 109,999 and then it breaks out of this function here and it does update these two variables also in the actual parameters of this calling function right here. So since these got updated, when we come to A after that function and B after that function, we get the updated values output to the screen. 
And that is all that I have for you for this video. I hope you now understand what the difference between value and reference parameters is. Basically, value parameters, they pass a copy and when you change the that copy in the function, it doesn't update the values in the calling function. And reference parameters, when you, it makes a, not a copy, but it copies the memory location over and then when you change those values in the function, it changes the values in the calling function. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.